All right, more of the blue blobby stuff. Now, if you're part of control group Kepler-7, we implanted a tiny microchip about the size of a postcard into your skull. Most likely you've forgotten it's even there. But if it starts vibrating and beeping during this next test, let us know. Because that means it's about to hit 500 degrees, so we're going to need to go ahead and get that out of you pretty fast. Alright, so basically there's a switch on the wall over there, and... Hang on. Oh, shit. You basically get the ground. There we go. Okay. Ah! Ah, uh, fuck. Here we go, here we go. There we go. I'm telling them, keep your pants on. All right, this next test may involve trace amounts of time travel. So, word of advice, if you meet yourself on the testing track, don't make eye contact. Lab boys tell me that'll wipe out time. Entirely. <sighs> Forward and backward. So, do both of yourselves a favor and just let that handsome devil go about his business. Oh, God. I didn't... What the hell? Okay. <laughs> I wasn't trying to do that. Okay, it's dripping over there. I really don't need to uh, get trapped in all that, so... Uh, let's see, with this, you're going to bounce off of that on there. It should do it! Oh god! There we go. Nice and easy. Still the same test. I think it's over, but it's really not. What is that jazz? You will be hurt. Co-workers do not endanger others. <laughs> I like it. Oh god. Could have just done that, but it's all good, baby. I don't really know what all I need to do here. Oh, I see what you gotta do here. Now, can I just jump off here? Come out there and be good? We'll find out. Is that enough? It's not enough! Oh, shit. That sucks. Well, damn. Let me get back up there and try this one more time. I know I got it right, so I just gotta... Okay, you can't necessarily just... Okay, trying to get up there from that. That should be enough. You, you, you think it would be enough, but... There we go. I knew I had it right. Okay. From this part... I guess you go from there to... I guess you go higher? Oh, you do go higher. Oh. Where is this going to exactly? I don't remember. Can't go there, can't go there. To get up there, you would need to basically just, well, just, how about this? Will that work? Oh shit, that was almost fatal. <laughs> almost fatal. Are you kidding me, really? Hang on, let me move it up just a little bit. There we go. If you're hearing this, it means you're taking a long time on the catwalks between tests. Hey, man. The lab boys say that might be a fear reaction. 
I'm no psychiatrist, but coming from a bunch of eggheads who wouldn't recognize the thrill of danger if it walked up and snapped their little pink bras, that sounds like projection. They didn't fly into space, storm on the beach, or bring back the gold. No, sir, we did. It's you and me against the world, son. I like your grit. Hustle could use the work, though. Now let's solve this thing. Oh, shit. Get him, Cube! Oh, I got you! <laughs> You just be chill. Let me wash you off. Yeah. Oh god. Yeah, there we go. Okay. Move that there. Jump up here. Oh wait. Oh goodness. You gotta get that cube to bounce again. So. Make it a bounce! Science isn't about why, it's about why not! Why is so much of our science dangerous? Why not marry safe science if you love it so much? In fact, why not invent a special safety door that won't hit you on the butt on the way out because you are fired! Now you test subject, you're doing fine. Yes, you! Box your stuff! Out the front door! Parking lot, car, goodbye! Congratulations! The simple fact that you're standing here listening to me means you've made a glorious contribution to science. As founder and CEO of Aperture Science, I thank you for your participation and hope we can count on you for another round of tests. We're not going to release this stuff in the wild until it's good and damn ready, so as long as you keep yourself in top physical form, there'll always be a limo waiting for you. Say goodbye, Carolyn. Goodbye, Carolyn. She is a gem. All right. This area gave me some trouble. I think what you really have to do here, or look out for, is... That right there is what you want to come out of. Because you're trying to get right over there. And the problem that is, whenever you go up there... like Let me, let me just show you. Whenever you come up here, there's a glass panel right there. You can't shoot it. So what, what you have to do is you pretty much catapult yourself. You're going you're gonna to go here. Gonna come out there. Hang on, let me make this a little closer. All right, it's about as close as getting. And as you go up, you want to shoot the one you jump through the first part right about there. Should do it. Easy peasy. Oh, that should do it. Here we go. Get those flowing. That's it. And this part is one of the uh, tougher parts as far as uh, trying to figure out what the hell you're supposed to do. Greetings, friend. I'm Cave Johnson, CEO of Aperture Science. You might know us as a vital participant in the 1968 Senate hearings on missing astronauts. And you've most likely used one of the many products we invented, but that other people have somehow managed to steal from us. Black Mesa can eat my bankrupt... Sir, the testing? Right. Now you might be asking yourself, Cave, just how difficult are these tests? What was in that phone book of a contract I signed? Am I in danger? Let me answer those questions with a question. Who wants to make $60? Cash. You can also feel free to relax for up to 20 minutes in the waiting room, which is a damn sight more comfortable than the park benches most of you were sleeping on when we found you. So, welcome to Aperture. You're here because we want the best, and you're it. Nope, couldn't keep a straight face. Anyway, don't smudge up the glass down there. In fact, why don't you just go ahead and not touch anything, unless it's test-related. All right, so to get to the control room, you can't just put this orange one, or whichever one you use right there like anywhere around that it has to be like right in there you put it there you're gonna hit that side of the building you put it there you're gonna hit one of those things so oh hi say you're good at murder could you oh thanks did you feel that that idiot doesn't know what he's doing up there this whole place is going to explode in a few hours if somebody doesn't disconnect him I can't move, and unless you're planning to saw your own head off and wedge it into my old body, you're going to need me to replace him. We're at an impasse. So what do you say? You carry me up to him and put me back into my body, and I stop us from blowing up and let you go. 
Sounds good. Now to catapult yourself, I'll show you. So you're trying to get across to there, and this should do it. We'll see though. Yep. That's the end of the chapter. So hope you guys enjoyed it. Rate the video, and I will see you soon.